And welcome back to Fox 2 News at 5. Jefferson County health leaders on high alert with soaring COVID-19 cases. Fox C6 school district is going to be moving to virtual learning. It is being discussed all over the area. In fact, tonight the Parkway District is having a meeting to decide whether they're going to go back to all virtual. Fox 2's Michelle Medeiros is live with the decision and reaction from parents tonight. Michelle. Well, the Jefferson County Health Department just said that they're at a level red, which means there's uncontrolled community-wide transmission of COVID-19. So late last night, the Fox C6 School District voted to switch to virtual learning just temporarily, though. A unanimous decision by the Fox C6 School District. All in favor? Yes. yes. And many parents I've talked to seem to agree that switching to virtual for the two days prior to Thanksgiving break and the week after is the right move. By all means, I support that. I just think that maybe December 7th is maybe too fast. Maybe they should consider just saying, just going ahead and say we're going to hold them out until the new year because in all honesty, I don't think that things are going to be much better come December 7th. But the board admits they've been getting pressure from some parents, even as Jefferson County faces its highest seven day average since the pandemic started, according to their health department, at 95 new cases per day per 100,000 residents. We're going to have to accept the fact that we are out and we're in. We're out and we're in if you want your kids in school as often as possible. And so going out protects everybody and allows staff and students to heal. We have to be fluid and it is frustrating sometimes. I do want my child to be in class, but it is what it is. The whole world is turned upside down right now. But finding the teaching staff to make that possible is becoming more and more impossible as the virus continues to run rampant. We want to have quality teachers in each classroom, but when you are struggling to staff even a high school that has 10 unfilled spots, that is hard. Again, the move is supposed to be just temporary. They're expecting to come back to hybrid learning starting on December 4th before going into winter break. Live tonight in Arnold, Michelle Medeiros, Fox 2 News.